Hey guys, what is up? Sam Scorpio here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very exciting one here for you guys as we're going to be doing a big video talking about every single Call of Duty game in development right now. We're going to start off with the more obscure ones that you may not know about before we discuss and build up to the obvious one that I know everyone in this community is thinking about right now. We've got new games, we've got free to play titles, we've got mobile, we've got remasters. There's so much to talk about here, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with a title I'm sure most of you actually know the least about. And this is a brand new cross-platform title led by Sledgehammer that will not only come to consoles, but mobile as well. It will be free to play and releasing at some point next year. Many of us have actually estimated this would be in the spring, around the same time of year that Warzone released, to kind of make a similar parallel there to last year. The Gaming Revolution, the man who literally leaked the entirety of Modern Warfare, has suggested that he has heard the game takes place in a modern to near future setting, taking elements from both multiplayer and battle royale modes, whilst bringing in characters and locations from across the Call of Duty universe, much like Call of Duty Mobile did. Very interesting there, I'm not quite sure what taking elements from multiplayer and battle royale exactly looks like, maybe kind of a large scale respawn mode, I'm really not too sure there. While he went on to say that he doesn't have too many specifics on the game, apart from the fact the game even has building mechanics which will allow you to build your own forts. It's not clear if this is closer to Fortnite where you actually build in real time and place walls and stuff, or more like the Battlefield style of thing that we got in Battlefield 5 where you kind of place different preset objects. Sledgehammer actually recently basically confirmed this leak when they recently announced they were hiring over 100 new staff coming from the 200 they currently have to support them on multiple new titles they are developing, this being the free to play game along with their involvement on Call of Duty 2020 and Warzone. Based on the fact Sledgehammer basically only work on Call of Duty for a long time now, it's pretty likely that all of these multiple titles our Call of Duty projects. We can assume this game was more than likely greenlit due to the massive success seen by Warzone carrying a free console release, as well as COD Mobile carrying huge numbers over on the mobile side, and everything Fortnite has accomplished when it comes to having a title available across all devices where people can continue their progress from one device to another. They can play at home on their console, then on their laptop in a coffee shop maybe, and then on the go on their phone. As long as they continue to succeed like Warzone has, Activision will be continuing to develop and release brand new free to play titles regularly as they seem to pull them big profits in terms of microtransaction sales as well as actually encouraging people to go and buy their mainline titles as they have confirmed in their investor call that Warzone players were more likely than average to go ahead and go and buy the full Modern Warfare title after playing. Just to put my thinking cap on here for a second and actually speculate, Based on the fact Activision have made their intentions for multiple years of Warzone content clear, and with it currently bringing in huge numbers, there's no real reason for them to release another Battle Royale, so I'd assume this is something else entirely. Unlike with releasing a brand new paid title where they get another $60 off of everyone, there is no real reason for them to release another free to play title, since all of their income there comes from the microtransactions. I'm really hoping to see something here with a lot more long-term progression than we're used to from Call of Duty, where as you play and grind every day, you see your character develop and become more powerful over time. I find the idea of a destiny styles game interesting, where you can loot from doing missions, raids, and other activities across a large-scale world. We know Activision have been looking for a new title to fill the gap Destiny left in their lineup when Bungie decided to actually end that partnership, and with COD being their current biggest IP by far, this could very well be it, and with Destiny having recently gone free to play actually, this would allow them to definitely compete with that and move themselves up in that market. So whatever exactly that game or mode is, as it's really shrouded in mystery for now, we'll begin to learn more about it hopefully soon from both leaks and eventually official sources before releasing around the same time as Warzone did, probably around the spring to summertime in 2021 as interest starts to drop off a bit in what will then be the current Treyarch title, Black Ops Cold War, before we eventually see another mainline title dropping from Infinity Ward in the fall. This means through 2021 we'll be seeing support coming in as far as we know for this new free to play title, Black Ops Cold War, Warzone, Call of Duty Mobile 
and likely even some more new stuff coming in for Modern Warfare's multiplayer. And speaking of which, it's safe to say Infinity Ward are obviously working on a sequel to Modern Warfare to release in fall 2021, as usual for Call of Duty. This will follow up on the end of the game's campaign, the various events we know followed across multiplayer, Spec Ops and Warzone which is currently developing that story through in-game events and easter eggs. It will come on to bring in even more classic characters from the OG Modern Warfare series updated, changed and woke cultured up to suit the 2020s landscape. This is going to be a really hard game to do a sequel to, just because of the way this story has been fairly messily told you could say, given it's been spread across so many modes, it's in a bit of a messy place where it's kind of hard to keep up with what you need to know about the story, so there's always the argument with the next campaign, whether you follow up on the end of the first one or where Warzone left off, because we know there is so much more to come for that story throughout the year. With our current title in Spec Ops and now Warzone, currently tackling revamped versions of Al-Assad and Zakayev, two major antagonists from the original Modern Warfare, it's possible our next game will follow some MW2 villains, possibly even a new take on the iconic, ghost-murdering General Shepard. Please God don't let him do that again. This franchise is currently planned to consist of four titles, including the one we already have, so we'll finally be getting the Modern Warfare 4 we always wanted, I guess. As always with Activision and the games industry in general really, stuff like that is always subject to change based on how the future titles in this series perform. If one of them starts to underperform all of a sudden, you can bet they'll cut the plug on those third and fourth games. Next up, let's talk about remasters. So we're going to start off with the one you're all talking about, Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Remastered. Well, we know this multiplayer has been done for years now, despite what Activision may claim about them having no intentions to remaster this. When the remaster dropped earlier this year, however, it was just the campaign. So what happened? Well, according to the Gaming Revolution, they've actually changed significant aspects of this multiplayer to make it a lot more balanced and catered to the current player base, to the point that they're worried that releasing this will bring in some large controversy. This likely included nerfs and fixes to some of the more overpowered aspects of the game. So the question is, will it ever see the light of day? And if so, what version of it? Well, to put my best guess on this, similar to what they actually did with Modern Warfare Remastered alongside Infinite Warfare when they expected that game to face masses of backlash, Activision will save this release for a rainy day to the point they mess up so bad that they need something to win the fans back. So when you see this game, really depends on when that happens. That could be as soon as this year if Call of Duty 2020 Black Ops Cold War were to release the horrific backlash after what we know has been quite a rush development, or it could potentially be years down the line, but my best guess would be within the next year, as they won't want to wait too long to release it, to the point where these remastered graphics become really horrific and outdated based on the newfound standards of next generation. But off of this, we do know from reliable leaks, the whole reason Modern Warfare 2 was remastered in the first place was because Activision made a deal with Sony to release it with exclusivity for them, as we saw it did come early, to the PS4, and Sony fronted a large portion of the development cost. However, we also know that this same deal included not just MW2 campaign, but also MW3's campaign. So it's likely that not just the second game has been completed for ages, but also the third one. This deal could very well have been made after the high pre-order figures for Infinite Warfare on PlayStation, specifically from those who wanted to get that MWR campaign 30 days early, or that actually could have been the reason why MWR campaign was 30 days early on PS4, and they might have actually made this deal all the way back at the time then to do the whole trilogy. So likely when it's done, we will see a complete bundle of all three campaigns on one disc. Once the MW3 remaster eventually sees the light of day, likely next year, that contract will obviously be done. Leaving the question, is more remasters something Activision is looking to pursue? If so, that leaves us with Treyarch games, Black Ops 1, 2, and World at War potentially next up for that graphical upgrade, this time on next gen. I'd say however, the chances of these coming anytime soon is relatively low, based on how much more work those would be to remaster with the whole extra mode of zombies in the mix. Of course, there would always be the option of just doing campaign after how successful MW2 campaign remastered actually ended up being. 
It's become clear lately that remasters are something Activision are really looking to get more into. First we have Modern Warfare 1, now 2, we had the Spyro Trilogy, Crash Bandicoot, and now Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 coming later this year. It's clear this is really a drive they're on, likely due to the fact they actually take less effort to develop than a brand new title and bring in massive profits. So why wouldn't they pursue this further? We could even see Black Ops 2 releasing in 2025, the year that game famously takes place in. I think that would be a really cool wee tie in there to time it where that came in that year and before then we'd obviously need World at War and Black Ops 1 so we can eventually get that complete story. However Black Ops 2 is really the last game that needs remastered since after that we get to Ghost which is a current generation game and it becomes less worth it even when we are on these new consoles since I would say the jump from current generation to this next gen is probably a smaller jump than the previous gen to this one has been. Last but definitely not least, let's talk about the obvious, the one everyone's talking about right now, the one we're all thinking about and waiting for the reveal of. Call of Duty 2020, Black Ops Cold War. Originally led by Raven Software with Sledgehammer supporting them, however after development conflicts, Treyarch came in and took the lead and are now running the campaign in Zombies while Sledgehammer handles the multiplayer side with Raven now on Warzone development. While we know this game is coming in the fall and will not be delayed due to the current coronavirus pandemic, we don't know much else beside the fact that this game will serve as a soft reboot to the Black Ops franchise. Originally when Sledgehammer were working on this, this was actually I think a revival of that Vietnam project that they were working on back in the MW3 days. Throughout this game's life cycle, Warzone will also continue to be updated with new content, likely including weapons, map locations and other items to fit this new title, showing the game will continue to cross the boundary between Call of Duty sub-franchises. We've seen them change the entire loot ball in Warzone already with the release of Season 3 and probably again with Season 4, so there's no reason they couldn't do this all over again with Black Ops Cold War with era appropriate weaponry and possibly even a whole new Black Ops themed map to go with it. One thing that's clear with the way they're taking things across all their projects, the line between developers having their own universes is starting to grow thinner and thinner with more overlap seeming to be coming in between Warzone, the new free to play sledgehammer title, and Call of Duty Mobile which is currently on its sixth season and won't be going anywhere even time soon. Hell last year we even saw Captain Price in Blackout. The line is starting to disappear and we're starting to see an overall more connected Call of Duty universe which I just think is awesome and least potential for some huge crossovers in the future but we'll talk more about that tomorrow. There are even plenty of leads to confirm to us this Black Ops reboot does take place in the new Modern Warfare reboot but as I say we'll have plenty more on that tomorrow with some huge new info coming in in a dual commentary with DK Dynamite so look out for that. But with that guys that's actually going to wrap up this video I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know down below in the comments which of these you're most excited for and would you still play Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered if it didn't have all the stuff that made the original so fun and went back to being a more balanced experience. Anyway, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on more future videos. Bye!